This is the 2014 season preview. Coach Bob Pecknold is getting ready for his third year as head coach for the Wake Forest Demon Deacons, and hopefully his third very successful season. Last year was an incredible year for Wake Forest football, a terrific run through the regular season, finishing with a 10-2 overall record, 7-1 in conference play, including a very memorable victory against our rival, the NC State Wolfpack, and then an absolutely massive win late in the season against the Clemson Tigers in overtime in what was a winner-take-all game in the Atlantic Division. That huge OT win sent us to the ACC Championship game with a chance to live our dream, become ACC champions. We met our rival, the North Carolina Tar Heels. And this game turned out to be an absolute instant classic. So many memorable plays in the ACC Championship game, including Thad Myrick forcing a fumble very deep in our own territory in the first quarter right after throwing an interception. And then in the fourth quarter, an incredibly clutch third and 22 conversion, allowing us to continue our drive where we were able to take the lead late and then the very final play of the game, Rose of North Carolina dropping what was potentially the game-tying touchdown in the very final play. We were able to intercept the pass and seal the deal for one of the biggest victories in Wake Forest football history. So we claim our third all-time ACC championship. That sent us to the Orange Bowl where we met an incredibly good Wisconsin Badger team. Uh, one of the top teams in the country. We left it all out there on the field, gave it absolutely everything we had. We trailed the whole game, but never gave up. Kept trying to fight back. Ended up falling seven points short against Wisconsin, but absolutely nothing to hang our heads about or be ashamed about. Terrific year and a championship winning season. ACC champ for the third time in program history. Incredible work from last year's team. That was last year's team. We are moving on to 2014 now. We did lose quite a few guys from graduation, but we certainly have a lot of guys returning. We are going to have some new faces on the roster as well. Let's meet your 2014 Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Let's go. All right, starting with the offense, our quarterbacks. We will be led by Tiger Garrison. He will be backed up by Zachary Sweeney and Dylan Ostrander. He'll be getting a red shirt if we're able to keep Garrison and Sweeney healthy ahead of him. Halfbacks, we have senior Xavier Mansfield, Jasper Goolsby, Abel Pennington, Malcolm Henderson, Harold Lewis. Fullback, senior Chase Burgess. Wide receivers, Senior Michael Fogel, Francis Baxter, Lester Wood, Scotty Ross, Senior Daryl Hobbs, Senior Chester Kelly, Sean Fuller, Joey Lopez, red shirt, Desmond Chapman, red shirt, Glenn Alford, red shirt. Tight ends, Senior and Offensive Team Captain Thomas Calhoun. Joseph Childress, left tackles, Chandler Olson, Willie Crowell, Gary Herman, Adam Sullivan, left guards, senior Brian Davis, Zach Caldwell, centers, Joe Allen, Ryan Poland, Frank Gorman, red shirt, right guards, senior Marcus May, Eric Sims, right tackles, senior Jason Hooper, Reggie Keys, Ivory Simmons, red shirt. Defensive side of the ball, left ends, Shannon Dukes, Julian Harris, Heath Thornberg. Right ends, Fred Fitzpatrick, Brant Dodell, Marshall Williamson, Marcus Watkins, red shirt. Defensive tackles, senior Reggie Huffman, Braden Austin, Mark Sanders, Maurice Cunningham, Wendell Charles, left outside linebackers, Terry Harrison, Jermaine Holt, 
Danny Ziegler, red shirt. Middle linebackers, LaRon Gordon, Eric Palmer, Derek Carroll, red shirt. Right outside linebackers, senior Henry Reese, Otis Nolan, Jermaine Murray, red shirt. Cornerbacks, senior and our defensive team captain, Adrian Lucas. Senior, Ronald Burton. Jabari Lamb, Stacy Adams, Brody Flowers, Tyreek Galloway, red shirt, Eddie Ratliff, red shirt, free safeties, senior Carlton Mills, Julius Peoples, Robert Bradshaw, red shirt, strong safeties, Kirkland Nance, Jesse Garcia, kicker Landon Walker, also our punter. And like a punter, Jesse Atkins. That is your 2014 Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Let's go. All right, now I look at the conference outlook in the ACC, starting in the Atlantic. The preseason favorites in the Atlantic is going to be number 16, the NC State Wolfpack. Looking for the first conference championship since 1979. And we have number 18, the Clemson Tigers, pressure to finish second in the Atlantic Division. Then here we are, the defending ACC champions, predicted to finish third in the ACC Atlantic. And we've got the Maryland Terrapins, predicted to finish fourth in the Atlantic Division. The Florida State Seminoles predicted to finish fifth in the Atlantic Division. And the Boston College Eagles predicted to finish last in the ACC Atlantic. In the Coastal Division, the North Carolina Tar Heels, the defending Coastal winner, they are predicted to finish first in the Coastal. They are number 13 in the country to start the season for their first ACC championship since 1980. Just fell short last year. And we've got the Miami Hurricanes predicted to finish second in the Coastal. Then the Virginia Cavaliers predicted to finish third in the Coastal Division. Followed by the Virginia Tech Hokies predicted fourth place finish. Then the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets predicted to finish fifth in the Coastal. And then the Duke Blue Devils predicted to finish dead last in the ACC Coastal Division. So here we go at a whole. North Carolina is predicted to win the ACC this season. And NC State predicted to win the Atlantic. We are, of course, the defending ACC champions. We have something to say about that. Not getting a ton of respect. Of course, we did lose some guys from last season, but who didn't? Got a lot of guys returning. I think we'll be very good this season. We may compete for it once again. Now here we go in the Big 12. We've got the TCU Horned Frogs predicted to win the Big 12 at the start of the season. They are number four in the country at the start of the year defending Big 12 champions. We go to the Big East where we got the Louisville Cardinals. They are predicted to win the Big East this season. Now to the Big Ten, where we got the Wisconsin Badgers predicted to win the Big Ten. Uh, Michigan State's Barnes predicted to win the Eastern Division in the Big Ten. Things changing a bit here in the Big Ten this year. In terms of division, Wisconsin for the first Big Ten championship since 2011. The Conference USA preseason favorite is the Houston Cougars. Southern Miss in the Eastern Division. Houston Cougars overall for the first conference title since 2006. Look at the independents here. Notre Dame starting number 15 in the country. Look at the MAC. The Ohio Bobcats are the preseason favorites in the MAC for the first conference title since 2012. Toledo, the favorites in the West. Mountain West Conference. We have Boise State, the overall favorites. 
favorites in the Mountain Division and overall for the first conference title since 2009. Fresno State, the favorites in the West. Mountain West was a very good conference last season. Look at the Pac-12. Oregon, the overall favorites in the Pac-12 Division. They're starting the season as the number two team in the country defending Pac-12 champions. USC, the favorites in the South at number three in the country. Pac-12, a very strong conference as well. Alabama, of course, the number one team. And, of course, the favorites in the SEC. Georgia, the favorites in the East. Alabama, the favorites overall. Of course, winning the SEC championship game and the national title game last season with the Crimson Tide. Now, I look at the Sun Belt. The FIU Golden Panthers will be the preseason favorites in the Sun Belt. Looking for the first conference title since 2010. Now a look at the WAC, the 16 conference here. Utah State, the Aggies are the preseason favorites in the WAC. So there we go. Now let's move on to the national rankings here at the start of the season. Number one, of course, the Alabama Crimson Tide. They have won the last three national championships. Four out of the last five seasons, Alabama has been the national champions. One of the greatest dynasties in college football history going on right now. Alabama was just head and shoulders above everyone last year, it seemed. They are number one, of course, to start the season. Can anyone take down the Crimson Tide? Number two to start the season is the Oregon Ducks. Falling to Alabama in the national championship game last season. Two in the nation here. Defending Pac-12 champions as well. USC number three in the country. Looking for their first national title since 2004. Uh, TCU Horned Frogs number four in the country. Looking for their first national championship. It's all the way back in 1938. Defending Defending, defending Big 12 champions are the TCU Horned Frogs. Number five is Wisconsin Badgers. Uh, looking for the first ever national championship. Very good team last season for sure. As were the Utah Utes. They will begin this season number six in the country. Looking for the first ever national title. Very good team. Stanford Cardinal. Number seven in the country to start this season. Looking for their first title since 1940. Number eight is the Michigan State Spartans for the first ever national championship since 1965. Haven't won conference title since 1990. Number nine is the LSU Tigers. They have looked for the first national title since 2007. And right at the top ten, another SEC team, the Georgia Bulldogs, for the first national title since 1980. That is the top ten to start the season here in 2014. Here's a look at the rest of the top 25. See North Carolina, top ranked team in the ACC to start this season. Also got NC State and Clemson ranked here to start the year. Fresno State rounding up the top 25. Very strong year from the Bulldogs last season. Here we are, number 26, just outside of the top 25 to start the season. And here is a look the rest of the way through the nation. And there we go. Now a quick look at the Heisman Watch at the start of the year. We have got senior halfback Willie Moses out of North Carolina. Very strong running back. One of the Heisman favorite start of this season. We have senior halfback John Jackson, the Georgia Bulldogs. No surprise there. Senior halfback Joseph Peterson from the Utah Utes. One of the preseason Heisman favorites. We have senior quarterback R.J. Holland from the Oklahoma Sooners and junior halfback William Moore from the USC Trojans. We'll look at the end of the year, see if one of these guys wins the Heisman or someone from the outside steps up to take the prize. 
Now here is a look at our schedule for the 2014 season. Let's go. As you can see, we are starting things off on the road, taking on the Kansas State Wildcats to begin the 2014 season. Next, we will be at home against the Northwestern Wildcats. Northwestern defeated us last year. It's the second part of our uh, two-year series against Northwestern. Then we will begin ACC play at home against the Boston College Eagles in week three. We'll have a bye in week four. Week five, we will be hosting the Miami Hurricanes. Week six, on the road, big rivalry game there, on the road at number 16, NC State. Then we will be on the road at Florida State. The Seminoles looking to bounce back after a very bad season last year. In week eight, we will be on the road at number 21 to start the season, the Tennessee Volunteers. And we will have our last non-conference game of the regular season at home against the East Carolina Pirates. Then we will have a rivalry game at home taking on the Duke Blue Devils. Big matchup, surely, at home against number 18 Clemson Tigers. Big matchup here at the start of the season, at least. Then we will be on the road at Maryland on the Terrapins. Week 13, we'll be on the road against the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. And that will be it for the regular season for us. Hopefully more games after that, at least one, week two. But that is it. We are all set for this 2014 season. Uh, some of the experts questioning whether we can continue the same sort of success we had the past couple of years. Uh, but we inside our locker room, inside this football program, know that we can be a very good team here in this 2014 season. Do have a lot of guys returning. We built a very strong culture for Wake Forest football, and we would like to show it here this 2014 season, starting off against Kansas State on the road. Let's go, Deeks!